How's it going, Dokkan Ninja Turtles? We are here with literally the thing that we've been waiting for for about a month now, ever since the Worldwide Celebration started. And we've seen how part one was being handled. We were basically all waiting for the player survey that is now available to take in Dokkan Battle. Now, here's the thing. Uh, I'm probably, I might, I'm, I'm gonna assume I'm, I should probably uh, include what I say at the end of this Worldwide Survey, basically. Um, at the end of the video, I should be uh, including that one. I wanna like record this part and then come back later on after I've filled it out and let you see what I filled out uh, with it. But here's the thing. Uh, I know a lot of people are gonna go through this and they're just gonna immediately say, my summons were bad, blah, 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 this, blah, blah, blah. Like just basically summon wise, be like, I had, my summons were terrible instead of the RNG, whatever it is, uh, how you really handled the nitty gritty things that we actually really need to be talked about. A lot of people are going to focus in on this one and talk about how they're uninstalling the game after this one because blah, blah, this, blah, blah, that. My summons were bad. A lot of people are going to go ahead and do that. And also, a lot of people are just going to be extremely disrespectful. And one of the things that I hear a lot whenever I said, hey, go into this one and be respectful as possible because there's a way to still be respectful but disrespectful at the same time. You could be respectively disrespectful. But you can still go in and start it off by saying, like, while they're reading everything, start off by saying, listen, I didn't I didn't enjoy how you handled a lot of the things. And I'm about to tell you all of it right now. And this is the things that I did not enjoy in this worldwide celebration or just things in general in the game that you fumble. And that's already respectful. You're still going to have their attention instead of you just going in and immediately blabbing off a whole lot of just BS like cuss words i don't even know if they even allow cuss words really but you know what i mean just going and being extremely disrespectful about it and then them just looking at the first top thing that you said and then skipping your whole shit like because that's going to happen if you go in and just think that you're just going to blab your mouth and they're just going to be like okay yeah we're going to we're, we're really going to take the time out of our headquarters all the people to read this and we're definitely going to take the time to read this disrespectful pile of shit that you literally just typed in on us yeah we're definitely going to read that they're not going to really read that they're going to skip your shit immediately and go on to the next person and listen to the facts and things that they actually say and more likely they're probably only going to listen to a lot of the things that are just basically glazing they're going to go in and probably just listen to the glazing and then that'd be about it. And maybe, maybe they'll pick up on some of the things that a lot of people say and be like, Hey, I didn't like how you handled this. I didn't like how you handled that. Can you please do something about it? And blah, blah, blah. Like they might, depending on how many people actually say something about it. Because here's the thing. One of the big focal points that should be in everyone's player survey when you can finally type your whole sentence of what you really want to say is content wise, content wise, stop. I would say catering to new players and continue to start catering to the actual existing players that's been playing your game for a long time, the veterans of Dokkan Battle, like that actually need more content to be produced out instead of it being you're looking at the account like basically, hey, like, hey, this is a new account coming in and probably playing Dokkan Battle. We don't want to give them too many Dragon Stones that they can grind out at a certain point. For a lot of people, you're gonna to need to go in and say a lot of stuff about that because they're just going to cater to new players. You see how much they've been making the game a whole lot easier. Yes, for some veteran players and stuff like that to make things easier to find and all that stuff, which they're gonna be doing, but they're still going through this and going, yeah, new players are gonna have access to X amount of Dragon Stones. We don't wanna to give too many in these big worldwide celebrations and henceforward for the worldwide celebration. I don't know the Dragon Stone count, but I'm gonna assume that we're probably with the 30 Dragon Stones that we got at the end and stuff like that. And also with the Gohan event giving five Dragon Stones at the end of the worldwide celebration. I'm gonna assume we definitely cracked over to the thousand mark of Dragon Stones, but it wasn't like a crazy amount of Dragon Stones that we actually got during the worldwide celebration. And they kind of were, pretty uh, scarce in between, especially for the part one, where part one really didn't have that much of the content whatsoever at all. It was pretty much part two and part three and whatever that was really like agging it back up to get more dragon stones. So we'll just have to really see, but like I said, let me know in the comment section below what you guys say. And I'm probably gonna like switch over to what I said on, on this player survey to you guys now. Okay, so I am back with, well, the final thoughts at the end of this player survey. And as you can see, uh, I did go ahead and actually type a decent little bit in here. 
So for the things that I'll go ahead and say, uh, if you haven't already read ahead of things, stuff like that, that's actually on this one or pause yourself and, and read it before I've even said it, uh, I'm going to go ahead and read off uh, basically what I've said for this one. So you guys can let me know if you need to piggyback on some of the things that I've said or not or, or anything. I know I probably there's a ton of other things I probably could have put in this one, but I just wanted to go ahead and make this. Uh, this and not like extremely too long because at the end of the day you can still always tweet at them and stuff like that and basically uh, get your point across with other people going at it and stuff like that and also other player surveys or in live streams when they're there you can literally just type the things that you need to say in uh, for them so now I'm gonna go ahead and go with this because I did like I said I did say this one but I was more respectful about it instead of just going in and being extremely <laughs> disrespectful with it but respectfully, I would say that you handled the amount of events was awful. Part one of the Worldwide Celebration was dreadful, to put it best, the lack of content and the ways to gather Dragon Stones to help play to help with summons uh, wasn't great. You needed to give more. Uh, you needed to give a lot more for the global version of the game after the ninth anniversary and half of the Tanabata celebration, uh, basically jam packed for global players. It was too much for most of the players to buy Dragon Stones to summon with. Basically, you handled the sync and unification poorly. Uh, and this is uh, why most players didn't buy Dragon Stones and why you didn't see top gross in the United States or Canada. That's one of the things I just wanted to bring it to uh, at basically the forefront, just for the simple fact that we don't see United States or Canada get top gross. In. I mean, mainly a lot of that is because a lot of those uh, people that are in United States and Canada are actually playing the JP version of the game too. But again, I could throw that in there, but you guys could probably go ahead and handle that one and be like, hey, we already know there's so many people that are playing the global version, but there are so many more that are playing the Japanese version that if they were playing the global version, you would see more of the top growth and stuff like that there. So veteran uh, Dokkan Battle players uh, needed more content to keep the game going and not to be hit with basically that slow times uh, in a massive celebration like the anniversaries and also worldwide celebrations. Uh, data downloads need to be worked on to compress the file size. Ooh, too, too much there. Too much there. And there you go. So uh, needed to compress the file size so uh, it isn't taking up too much space in devices. The pity system is a very good thing. It is a very good thing for us to finally have a pity system, but uh, just for most players, 2,500 Dragon Stones to get one copy uh, isn't uh, unit isn't that great uh, when summons are very bad for some people. So like I said, basically, if you're really struggling, your RNG or whatever you want to say is very low, you're not really hitting anything. Hitting 2,500 uh, Dragon Stones for a pity system isn't really that great, especially if you're not a new player and you're buying those Dragon Stones. It's not necessarily a good thing. I mean, it is a pity. Don't get me wrong. The pity system's there. At least you're going to walk away with a copy. But the fact that, at, that you have to hit 2,500 to do it isn't really that great whatsoever at all. And then like I always stand by and say that 2,500 for the average player and stuff like that that isn't spending a lot of money in the game and also isn't a content creator uh, that's basically can write this off and shit like that. We're doing it for content. We're also making money by doing this. So it's again, it's not a lot. Uh, it, it's, it's a lot, but it's not good for most of the people that are that are spending that much money in the game. You're not getting no investment whatsoever back. So for it to be 2,500 is a lot. And also if you hit 5,000, <laughs> I mean, that's two copies, sure. But like I said, if your RNG is terrible, and again, during the worldwide celebration anniversaries in Tanabanta, having those banners and stuff like that have so many units on uh, the banners, regardless if it's with another unit that was very, very good for last year or whatever the hell it is, it still isn't a good thing because you have so many units that you're necessarily not really guaranteed to get that unit at any point in time. Like I said, at, at the end of the day, this game is a slot machine game. Like this is a slot machine game. You're like, you're not guaranteed to basically hit big at any point in time. If it happens, it happens. That's why I said, when you go back and look at all these uh, polls that we put in for the community tabs, uh, a lot of people were shafted during the worldwide celebration. Hell, even the anniversary and also the Tanabanta. A lot of people got shafted through that little frame of time that we had when we got jam packed with all those banners. So, and when you look at the worldwide celebration, you think about it right now. Some of you uh, probably got like a, uh, like in your head right now, because the anniversary 
Again, it was good. Tanabata, good. Worldwide Celebration themes, even good. The units were good. But like I said, with being jam-packed with so much and then the lack of content at a cert at that point in time, it was, again, it's going to give you a bad taste. If you rated it right now, you probably rate the Worldwide Celebration pretty low. If you, Especially if you take the units out of the actual argument or anything, you take them out of the equation, it's low. Content-wise, low. Like, so for a lot of people, especially like I said, for all those banners and stuff like that at that point in time, 2,500 is is ridiculous, especially for them to introduce that after, you know, the unification <laughs> was was pretty much met poorly. Like when they literally could have just made a, like two banners or so and literally been like, all right, we're unifying this one and, into one big celebration. And then here's your like two or three or whatever, four banners and everything that's not out at that point in time is just going to be thrown on the corresponding banner. And they could have done that at any point in time. So anybody that says, the, oh, that has to contradict anything like that, I can literally just tell you at this point in time right there, like that they could have done that. It said they chose to be money hungry and bleed dry. And then, the, hey, 2500 and you can guarantee yourself a new unit. And then the double down back on that now that we know that it's only going to be for the anniversary, the worldwide celebration, and also the thank you celebration, a.k.a. Tanabanta and stuff. Like now that we know that, it's like, oh, so you double down on that while everything else is only 1000 uh, for a pity. That's pretty egregious in my honest opinion because they know those are the big times. Why not keep it 1000 or just be like 1500 at that point? Which, again, hence is why I said at the end of this, uh, well, not even at the end of this, but right after that, do you think, uh, uh, I do think that it should be lower to 1500 Dragonstones and keeping it 1000 for the other campaigns is fair. I thought that was fair. You can agree. You can disagree. But I do. I think that is pretty fair for a lot of people. And then going back as as much as some players uh, enjoy seeing different, excuse me, as much as some players only enjoy seeing a few different characters in the game, I do think it's good for Dokkan Battle to introduce more diverse characters in the game as LR characters or even Dokkan Fest characters as long as they are treated with the same love as the other uh, characters in the game. And I like I said, basically what I'm saying at that point right there is if you're going to do another diverse character in the game, that's not your typical Saiyan, uh, whether it's a fusion Super Saiyan 4 or something like that. Like if you're, if you're going to do something else differently, do not hoe them. Do not give them the worst fucking kits possible just to be like, well, we did the unit or whatever. Like, don't do that. Like, when you do that, and then you're like, oh, well, nobody's summoned on this one when they said they want a diverse game. It's not because of the character. It's not really the character's fault. It's your fault because you choose to not make those characters competent in the game. So whenever people see their kits, and they immediately go, well, that's mid. That's nowhere near where we're at in the meta right now, and all these other units are going, holy shit. And then this unit over here is just barely doing anything. <clears throat> Raditz. Like, you're like, what the hell? Like, we've been waiting for this unit to get a Dokken Fest or something like that, and then you shit the bed. So basically, at that point in time, what I'm saying is, hey, treat all the other characters, when you're going to come in with these other characters, they're going to be diverse, anything like that, treat them like you treat the other units, and then people will still summon because they'll be like, damn, that's a good unit. I need that unit, and that's the first one of that unit in this form or that form. I need that unit. So basically, that's the most positive way i could say that <laughs> at that point in time there in this so introduce new fun ways to the game to get more powerful characters and more free to play stones is also good uh and then you got uh, interacting with the community in the form of actual live streams community posts to get votes on characters that they would like to see in upcoming celebrations or campaigns uh is another good way to keep the community happy and then units that have uh that have been coming out are very good. Uh, we look forward to them getting better and better or going into the 10th year anniversary. Bring back quest mode, dragon stones to gather and make wishes, update summon animations, uh, animated wallpapers for the home screen, uh, and if possible, uh, the pricing of the dragon stones or change the amount of dragon stones so that it's fair, uh, so that it's a fair deal. Uh, then basically paying $45 uh, for just one multi with, again, like some loose dragon stones that they're just banking that you have the nine dragon stones or whatever to actually get two multis out of that point. That's not a fair deal. I've always said that uh, in 
in any format, any year, whatever. I've always said, looking at the Dragonstone prices and the sales, I know a lot of people talk about it. Like, why don't nobody say this? I've said this for a very long time. The pricing on Dragonstones is absolutely dog shit. Like, I've, like, I, I mean, I guess Legends at times, some people come and say, well, Legends isn't as, as good either. But it's like, for other games and stuff like that, when you look at other games, you can probably get a multi or two with Pine, the big pack. With Dokkan Battle, you buy the big amount of Dragon Stones without the sale on it, and you're only getting one multi unless you have nine Dragon Stones to fucking spare in the game. That is not cool. You're basically saying, hey, yeah, basically $45 is, is a multi. So basically what you're saying is every time that I do a multi, I'm basically draining like $45 really. Or half of it, if you, or a little over half, basically. I'm um, basically what, like going, I would probably say maybe 20 something, maybe 23 something, something, dollar, something like that, maybe 24, $25 is literally uh, a multi. That, that's basically what you're saying. So, like I said, that's not good pricing whatsoever at all to, to be paying that. that. That always needed to be reworked in the game. And I think that a lot of people could necessarily agree with that that it needs to be reworked uh, in the game because that is terrible. And and especially for the price of inflation and stuff like that right now, going up, everything costs more. The last thing people want to do is be spending a crap ton of money in this game to be barely getting anything out of it or just have to wait for the damn sales to come back where you're literally getting 150 Dragon Souls for like 30 something dollars. And it's like, well, that should be like the norm. At that point, like that should be the norm. I'm spending like thirty something dollars or forty five dollars at that point in time. Give me three multis, and that's great. I'll take that. But at, at the at the current point that it is right now, it's terrible, absolutely terrible. And I've always said that, and I'll still stand on business on saying it. It is absolutely terrible, and it needs to be re reworked one hundred percent. Like terrible pricing. Uh, that has never been good pricing <laughs> to pay. Uh, hopefully the feedback helps with further updates to the game uh, that I love to play. And basically what I'm saying is, like like I said, that goes for everyone else. Like, we love to play. We do these surveys because we love to play it. We want the game to improve. That's basically the thing that we want. We want this game to always improve. We don't want it to sit here and just keep tanking and tanking and tanking, especially seeing as you're get, we're getting more games that's going to come out and rise up. Like, Spark and Zero is going to cap captivate so many people's lives, bro. Like people, especially my age and older generation and stuff like that, that grew up on Budokan Tenkaichi and stuff like that. It's like, dude, when we get our hands on this game, you see what I'm saying? Whether you're playing it on YouTube channels or you're playing it by yourself with your friends or anything like that, it's going to take up a lot of your time because you're going to be having fun playing it with your friends and stuff like that. Dokkan Battle is going to be like in the back of your head while this game is out, from, especially for the first couple of weeks. When it when it dropped, bro, with the first couple of weeks, Dokkan Battle is definitely taking a back seat. And to be quite honest, Dokkan Battle, like Bandai, Akatsuki, like you're listening to this right now, you should be in hyper gear. You should be like ramping it up more and more and more. And I get it. We're going to get more uh, probably busted EZAs and stuff like that during October just for the simple fact that they're doing all of the actual anniversaries leading up into the 10th year anniversary. They're giving us corresponding things with those. Like, it's cool. It's understandable. We love that shit. But you got to ramp it up because if you don't and you don't take the feedback serious from all these players, you're going to see a drop off even more of Dokkan Battle. And especially when uh, Black Ops 6 comes out, which looks like it's going to be pretty good, and then all these other big name games is going to be coming out, it's like you're going to have way more competition than you ever had. And the lack of, uh, do I want to get on my phone or my tablet to play this game? Or do I want to go downstairs uh, or in my room, wherever you're at, depending on how old you are, like, do I want to go down there and cut on my Xbox or my PlayStation or even get on my computer and actually play a triple A game that's fun right now? Like you have a lot of competition coming up. So hopefully you do take this feedback into consideration, like legitly and not just mine, but everyone else's that's doing these player surveys and you actually listen. Because like I said, I just pointed out a couple of things. I'm sure that you watching this right now have a ton of other things that I didn't say that you put in yours. And hell, you might be like typing yours right now and putting in the things that I said in here as well, too. So, like I said, 
you got to. <laughs> you got to for the sake of the game, to be quite honest. Because like I said, it may die down for a while. It may pick back up during the 10th anniversary. It's not going to completely die, but like you you got competition. You got competition. But this is what we've been waiting for. Let me know in the comment section below if you filled it out. You gave it a mouthful or not. Because like I said, uh, I think for me, uh, I did put a good little pit uh, into this. To be quite honest, I, I don't think I've wrote this much for a good little bit now. <laughs> for for a good little bit, for, for a game's feedback. I don't think I have. But uh, let me know in the comment section below what you guys said. Have an awesome day slash night. Stay safe. And I'm out. Peace. Yeah.